Hello, Exoman Legacy here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to download and install this seamless co-op mod for Elden Ring. Have you wanted to play side by side with your friends and not actually have to continue to join in over and over again? Be able to fight continuous every time you die, you just spawn at the nearest grace and you just keep on going at it with your friends and defeat this game like a like a true co-op campaign well in this mod and in this video i'm going to show you just how to do that first off we're going to head over to nexus mods and download seamless co-op uh, seamless co-op seems to be made by luke yui uh, it's currently in early access and they plan on making a bunch of changes there's actually been an update since the last time i was on um yeah there was an update about four hours ago so we're gonna hit manual right here there will be a link to this in the description it should just let you download it as long as you have an account so once you download it you're going to want to go to wherever that's installed for me it'll be the download folder so here's the new one right here i'm going to unzip it or in your case, if you don't have 7-Zip or WinRAR, just hit Extract All, hit Extract, and it should just pop up in a folder like this. This is all you're going to need. Next, you need to find where you have Elden Ring installed. So I have it through Steam here. So if you go to Steam, you can right-click on it, hit Manage, and then Browse Local Files. Once you do that, it should pop up with a Elden Ring here and then game. If you don't know where that is anyway, just go to Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common Elden Ring if it's not on the main hard drive. So we're going to go into game. Now in here, I have a bunch of different files. I already have it installed, but this is a new version. So all you need to do is just copy the launch Elden Ring seamless co op and the seamless co op folder. Just drag it into drag it into the folder. Replace any files you may already have, especially if you already have a copy of this. Now, lastly, you and your friends are going to need to go in and find co-op password INI inside a seamless co-op. And you're going to want to open that up. And you're going to want to set a password. And you're going to want it to be exactly the same as your friends. So Make it difficult because there's going to be a lot of other people playing Elden Ring and you want to make sure you're in the same game as each other. So in this case, we're going to do. We're going to do Exo Man Legacy video and then we're going to close it and save. Now, everybody with X1 Man Legacy video should be able to join me. Now, because I don't actually need that, I'm actually going to delete that one and rename my original one that has the same password as my friend and then we're going to start up Elden Ring. Now to make this easier I like to add Elden Ring co-op as a game icon inside of Steam. To do that just hit add a game, add non-Steam game, browse files and then find your way to Elden Ring. Once you're in here, just click on Launch Elden Ring Seamless Co-op. Hit Open. Once you hit Open, it'll pop up in here. And then you just click on it again. It should already be checked. Um, where is it? Uh, I don't know. should already be checked. If it's checked, just hit Add Selected Programs. And then it'll pop up here. Then you can right-click on it, Properties and you can rename it to whatever you want. In my case, I just have it Elden Ring Co-op. Now, to start it, you just hit Elden Ring Co-op, hit play, and it'll start just like Elden Ring normally would. In my case, it's downloading or starting a little slowly. There it goes. Now, once you get to the main menu, You'll be greeted with a message that says, Welcome to the seamless co-op mod for Elden Ring. This is an early beta version of the mod. 
And then this mod uses separate save and does not connect to the matchmaking servers. It does not contain an anti-cheat. So if you're worried about your friends cheating, I'd say just keep an eye on that. But if you don't care, you don't care. Um, you won't be able to use your old saves. So if you go to load game, you're only going to be able to see your new saves. These are the only saves that are going to be available within this one because they have a new abbreviation dot CO2 instead of C or SL1 or SL2, which is the abbreviation for the game's load, uh, load files. So now you can go in, you can start a new game like you normally would. Um, I was messing around with this one, um, just trying to testing possibilities with a friend. So this is technically a modded save as well. So we're here, I'm in here, we're at the first sign of grace. Now, if you want your friends to be able to join you, you have to go to your inventory and you need to use the tiny great pot. Once you use the tiny great pot, it makes it possible for other people with the same password as you to join your game. Now, other things that you can do with this is if you want to join your friend's game, you use the effigy of Melania. This will allow you to join your friend's game that has the same password as you. If you use the separation mist, it allows you to be separated from your players in there. So they will be pushed out of your game. And if you use the Judicator's rulebook, it makes it so that you are able to actually fight uh, the people in your game. So if you want to switch it from just being PvE, you can switch it to PvP and PvE, making it so that you can fight your friends. So if you guys want to test out your, you know, your abilities, your uh, new weapons or anything like that, you can do that. Uh, Tarnished Finger and all these other ones will not work in this mode. Okay, I hope that helps you guys. It's uh, quite simple to use. It's honestly a lot easier than using just the regular co-op. So just uh, leave a like, comment below if you guys have any questions. Uh, subscribe if you want. And I will see you guys in the next one for more Elden Ring and other game content. Bye.